And welcome, this is Bala Scobo with a new Let's Play for everybody. This is going to be as promised. Let's play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Yes, the pop team. They make a good game. We need to get this started. Let's see, yes, that that is uh, the profile I made. Yeah, haven't started yet, just, just set up all the all the sound and, and control scheme how I want it. Let's go ahead and get started. I do love this game. I got it back uh, when it was originally released for the PlayStation 2. Um, that's why I'm playing it on a controller because that's what I'm used to. Yes. Move. And then there's no cu there's no subtitles so you'll just have to pay attention as he as he talks. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. <coughs> where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. No, my son. Do you think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought? Or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell? If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Yes, we are here to impress Daddy. Let's go fight! Oh, crap. Did I do that? I, I don't think I did. Let's just let's just go the other way and hope that everything works out for the best for them over there. Um. Yes. You you could jump, or you could you could run along the wall like I love doing, and we can do it in slow mo because it's the first time we've done it. Oh. Prince, man, he is he is the king of parkour in video games, in my opinion. I have not seen somebody do it better. Better than Prince. I'll tell you, he's got nothing on him. Run along the side. Sweet. Let's just go this way. I don't think there's anything that way. Break some obstacles, and now it's time to fight our first enemy. I see you. Oh no, he's got a spear. Whatever shall I do? I'm gonna run at him and jump. And then slice him from the back. <laughs> oh, I love killing people that way. It's it's my favorite way of doing it, actually, in the game. Uh, actually, there's one f more better way. Well, yeah, just a better way, but... I can't do it yet, so this is going to have to do. Ah, I can't even see it. There we go. Let's do a slow-mo. <laughs> Slice and dice. And down he goes. And we must put away both our swords, even though one of them was apparently invisible. That one in your left hand. Could not see it. But nicely done, Many putting it away. Many men day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, "You are the noblest of my warriors." From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Are you done talking now? Okay. When uh, if if you got hurt, um, just press the special action button uh, in in water, and you'll heal. Awesome. 
So let's move on. And we can take on some new enemies. And hopefully I can vault over them. It's I, I think they call it vaulting over them. And then attack them from behind and kill them like really quickly. And they're they're showing off their their attacking skills just in case somebody might be watching. How'd they know I was? Yes, I love this game. Oh, before I forget, I do want to thank Limeady, uh for for putting together uh, the the intro song that I've been that I'll be using for this LP for me. He does good work. I'll put a link to his uh, to his SoundCloud in in the descriptions. Probably for a few of these. Probably for all of them, to be honest with you. Oh, we're we're done here. Apparently, nice. Did a lot faster that time. Nicely done, Prince. I don't think he ever gave us a name. He, ju he just goes by Prince. He's not the artist formerly known as, just just regular Prince. So let's keep going, and yes, here's the f official introduction to Rain Along the Wall, which I did before, because it is a lot safer than just blindly leaping, if you ask me, but what do I know? It's not like I've beaten this game in three hours once. Oh, wait, I did. I don't know how long this, this, this is going to be. Here, here's more water for you to heal. Uh, because, well, I haven't played this in a long time. Probably about five, six hours, I, w I would imagine. So I'm going to slow down uploading a bit. I'm probably going to do one 20-minute part, around 20 minutes. Um, one 20-minute part a day on the weekends. So, so still two a week. Come on. Slice and dice and down he goes. Hey, get over here. There we go. And we can move along. Um, that looks like a Buddha to me. But we're supposed to be in... Oh wait, they did say India, so Buddha... Buddha is acceptable, I guess. Ha! You missed! You don't know how to hit the prince. Wow. That was like the worst cannonball ever. Didn't do shit. I assume it's a cannonball because it, it disappeared. If it was from a catapult, the rock would have continued to fall, right? They didn't make, like, exploding catapult balls, did they? Oh. Not supposed to do that yet. Let's kill these guys. <laughs> Backflip to death. Oh, man. This guy is awesome. I wish I had half his parkour skills, but I don't have any. I have none. Oh. There we go. Now we're all set to move on. Thank you. More water if you need it. Oh, slow mo! Nicely done. Oh, wrong way. This way. Climb up to the top. Then we can leap onto the balcony. And hop over. Oh, man. How much arm so strength I that requires? My story from here. The next time we're interrupted. Sure. Done. Why not? I'll start the story from here next time. Saving in this game is very, very often and very, very quick. So I'll probably be saving a lot and. Oh, this could be awesome! Oh, look at him g jump! Ah, oh, just made it. So yeah, I'll probably be saving a lot. Uh, plus, there's a well, there's a little thing that goes with saving in this game. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. And there it lay, just out of reach, the dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Yeah, I'm sure we'll never get there. It's not like... Nah, whatever. There's the sands of time underneath us. And the, the dagger. The dagger of time. Awesome. But we can't get through through that little porthole window, whatever you want to call it. So we have to go around this way. It's like this palace was built for him and his parkour training, I swear. <laughs> uh, even when it's being destroyed. It's like, oh yeah... Avoid spiky poles. Thank you, game. Could not figure that out all by myself. Instead, you had to tell me. Hey, <laughs> you see all those spikes? Don't step on them. Alright, so, uh, you probably can't see it because you guys are new to the game, but if you're experienced like me, you'll know that there's a ledge right there that you can barely make. So, you head there, and then you can hop across. All underneath here is water. Uh, you can't 
uh, climb walls or anything like that when your feet are wet because th they're too slippery. Like, literally. Okay. Up over here. More water in case you fall. But I did not. And sweet, we made it through. And we made it outside again. <gasps> Just a brief glimpse of what you will be going through. Okay. Alright, so then hop down here. Yeah, that one falls away. Let's climb up. How convenient that it breaks away right, right after I can reach the next ledge. And there we go. Yeah. And Prince knows exactly where it's going to stop, so you can keep trying to walk. See, like I'm, I'm still trying to walk, but it won't let me go any further. Oh well. Now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. There is a ledge down here. You cannot make to the jump to the pillar from here. Now that we have a proper angle, you can clearly see that. You need to be over here, and then you can leap. And there, we've made it to the pillar. Uh, now we need to do some pillar hopping in order to get to the dagger. I want that dagger. I'm pretty sure that's the whole point of this game, is getting the dagger. So let's get it. And slide down. Damn. He does have skills. I don't know if they pay the bills, but he's got them. Hop up here and jump. Climb up. Keep climbing up. Even the statue was built for the prince. Oh, now we need to do some Mario style. Wall jumping. Look at that. How strong is that guy? What? The sand turns back time? No, not the dagger. I had what I came for. It was time to get out. Now. Alright, so... Yeah, the dagger, it turns back time. When you press the little button. But he'll he'll go over that a little bit more. But that that's what's going on. And are we back where we started? That's what it looks like. Okay. Climb up here. And yes. Yes we are. Oh, but it's time for a cutscene. Father, I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> Your Majesty, you promised me my choice. Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through his city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a dozen slave girls. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. <gasps> there was a hot girl. We must grab her. And now we're in the desert. We're moving on. We're done there. We conquered. We left. It was awesome. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow. The day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend, your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you'd given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. And yet, the best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only 
Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will apply. No! No! Stop! No! Is it late to do this? Alicia Sigataha! So sweet, we've unleashed the sands of time. That is the title of the game, so we did something good, right? That that is what we were supposed to do. Looks like we've we've made a little bit of work for ourselves though. Damn, how did that door never close just in time? Uh oh, they've spotted us. Now these guys are gonna be a little different. And this is my favorite technique, so here you can do what I was doing before, but you need to finish them off with the dagger. And then these guys, they tend to hit when you're finishing people off with the dagger. So instead of doing two... Down, they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possessed them could I liberate them from their monstrous living dead. So like I was saying, uh, instead of doing two normal attacks, I do uh, one normal attack after I jump and then use the dagger. And it works on a lot of enemies. And it's the fastest way I know to get to, to finish them off. So it's probably what I'm gonna be doing for most enemies. There are a couple enemies that know how to block this, but we're not gonna meet them for a while. At least for a, a, a few um, a few save points I should say. Probably the next couple episodes, but for right now, this is my best move. And that is actually a save point. But he doesn't know that yet. And there's the hot girl. And it, her pendant is glowing. Let's just step into this column of sand. Surely it'll be work out well for us. Oh, now I have a migraine. The hell is this? That is what they call a vision. Uh, yes, a vision. And it pretty much says what we're going to be doing Done. in the future. I'll start the story from here next time. Awesome. So, that is what we're going to be needing to do. Now, I did get hurt, so... You think me mad. I can see it by the look in your eyes. You think my story is impossible. I'm just going to heal Perhaps up. I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. Yes, of course it is. Now, yeah, I, I went back and healed. There's nothing that way. Oh, and there's a woman wait. this way. Yes, wait. I must have you. Stop. Ah, damn it. So I have to go through here. And then the game is very nice. It gives you a little intro to the room every time you go into a new room. And it pretty much tells you the way you need to go. More or less. So, yeah, there's really no excuse for, for you not knowing where to go if, if you pay attention, which I guarantee nothing of. Uh, these are sand clouds. You want to you wanna put your, your dagger into them. Where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through. 
stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. And ta-da, by the time he was done, I was finished with the room. These rooms are not that difficult. Damn it. Damn it, woman. Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. Yeah, he is quite the acrobat. There's some more water if you need it. Every little fountain heals you to full health. You just have to hold down the button long enough. So sweet, we go across there, then down those, and then we have to fight some things, and then we can head back up and go through that hole. You guys paying attention? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I know they said he's like an acrobat or something, but that's still just incredible. He can do that. Alright, drop down here. And now, we need to fight some guys. Down he goes. And every time... Damn it. Oh, you can also bounce off the walls. See, look. And then and it'll do the same thing. But normally, uh, a lot of these guys, uh, the fat ones, they can block uh, you jumping off the walls and trying to get behind them. There's also... A, uh, a ricochet attack. Let's see if I can get that. Like, leap! There we go. And then it pretty much knocks him down. Uh, you use the attack after you uh, you try to jump into the wall. Just use the attack button. And it does a little spear that knocks him down. And we I are done here. When I had collected enough sand, the dagger gained the power to stop time. Not for me, but for the enemy I struck. Yes, he is now a time traveler. Now, you might notice the the bright yellow spots. That's how many times I can use a power such as going back in time. Oh, this one's tricky. You need to bounce off the wall. There we go. Uh, and then the other ones, I don't know if you remember, they were the white shapes on the, on the right side. Those are for, like, freezing enemies. Those are battle things. But we need to watch this vision. What are we going to do now? Right. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes. Got it. Then. Of course. And. Yes. Good. And. Fight women. Oh! Stabbed in the gut! Right. Of course. And it looks like we're going to save Done. here. I'll start the story from here next time. And it looks like... Actually... No, I think he says something after this. Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams? Each time I awoke feeling drained and beaten. And each time, what I had seen came to pass. As if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. And that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I've been Ballas Goodwill. I've enjoyed, as always, by... Prince, hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Well, this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.